What's up, you guys? I hope you had a great weekend on Philosophical. This is my channel. <clears throat> uh, for the eavesdroppers upstairs, I guess, uh, thank you for being fans of mine. So, what was on here when I first started was father, the word father, and then removal and solution. All right, so we're going to go with that because I feel like there's a father figure. I don't know if it's a very good one. This could be your child's father or just a toxic male. And then that's not right came out. All right. So this person is going to be removed is what I'm picking up on this. This person is going to be removed. Your ancestors or the universe is coming up with a solution to either remove you from a situation that has to do with this toxic father figure or to remove this person. All right. I'm going to tell you guys about the dream I had, but I'm going to wait till the next video. All right. Ain't that a way to party? Like, so dirty. So this, ooh, this person could have a real hairy back. Like, gross, hairy back kind of shit. All right, tell me about this. That's not right. That's not the first time they did it either. So there's something that this person possibly has done. Uh, where they're going to get removed because that's not right. That's not right. This could be a fire sign and a bunch of minions of his. Yeah, all these people, these these thieves. That's not right. I, I feel like also people think it's not right that like you're happy. There could be some real ignorant people around you that feel like it's not right that you're happy. But, and they're not happy, but it's because they steal and they lie to get what they want. Oh, sorry, sir. Tell me more about this, please. Yeah, yes, that's, yes. Yeah. So there's people, what's not right? So somebody lives, right? These are people around your home. Th these are people who, they do shady shit to get what they have. And I don't feel like they have anything. And now it's like, well, that's not right. What do you mean it's not right? <laughs> like... There also could be some people finding out. There could be some minions of this father figure person that are finding out what this person has really done. And they could also be saying like, damn, that's not right. But let's, let's see. Tell me more about this, please. Dream interpreter. Yeah, I'm going to tell you guys about my dream in the next one. It was pretty crazy, okay? <laughs> First of all, I keep getting dreams about um, like War of the Worlds type war going on around and then... I don't know if I'm just representing myself in the dream or if I'm representing people who are spiritually protected, but it's like we, I was just walking in the streets watching things blow up around me and I, I walked with such confidence because I knew it was never going to touch me. I'm, I'll tell you about the one I had the other night. So um, same thing, I'm, I'm walking and it seems like there's like, my ears are ringing real bad, just all of a sudden, there seems like they're indigenous. <laughs> okay. Um, so... I'm walking in the scene. It was like a street, like a city street. And then I'm with somebody and they're like, yo, look, at the, the sun looked like it was a big fireball. We could see it was falling. It was like it fell to the ground and was rolling. It was like the sun on fire rolling, but smaller, like meteor shower type thing. And then someone goes, that's the sun. And then I'm like, no, that's the sun. And here there was more than one sun. So most of us know that they, they've done something with the sun. But what happened was all of these things on fire just started falling out of the sky like a meteor shower. And someone had said in my ear, they know that you're here. And it's like I knew in my dream that it meant they know that you're here, like that you're incarnated and that you're awakened and that's why this stuff it was like it was being thrown directly at me but it was hitting everywhere else but me and then I started realizing Caroline and then I started realizing that uh I think I'm gonna go out to pull on Caroline because I feel like they're telling me that somebody did something to someone named Carol or Caroline and people could be figuring, like saying, that's not right. Hold on a second. Yeah, this could be uh, someone that passed over. And people are finding out that somebody had something to do with how and why this person 
isn't here anymore. But let me just finish this and then I'll pull in the Caroline and the father because someone, her father could be finding out what really happened. But so anyway, in the dream, it was clearly that somebody was telling me like, they know that you're here. They, you know, those darker powers know that you're here. And it was every every type of attack you could possibly have had. It literally looked like, and then I seen War of the Worlds was on yesterday, and it was like, it reminded me, the one scene, it was just coming from everywhere, it reminded me where everybody's running and stuff, and I was just so confident walking because I knew that nothing could touch me. So, uh, yeah, and then um, I looked in the mirror, and I actually just saw myself in the mirror. You know, it's like, I know I am the chosen one. I know that. There's no one that can tell me any different. And I know that the stuff that I have coming at me and the stuff that I'm exposing is so much bigger than just people gang stalking around my at the house. <laughs> it, it, five, five, five. It, it's so much bigger than that. And this is why I get attacked more so than most people do. And I'm not bragging about it. It's nothing to brag about. Um, but I, I see every day just because of how strong I am clearly why my bloodline chose me for this. Because I'm exposing gangs and trafficking and organ trafficking uh, pedophilia, the government, I pretty much cover it all. Whatever they want to come out, all right? Why is Olivia coming out again? Caroline and Olivia, are these two people that are both not here? Yeah, okay. Let's just find out. So this could be you. You could be a dream interpreter as well. And you're very good at it. You could have woke up from a dream and was like, damn, that's that's not right, damn it. But let's see. Let me pull on Carolina. Or Caroline. Caroline, what happened to Caroline? Tell me what's up with uh Caroline, please. I've got nipples gray. Can you milk me? I don't know. What's this morning? Tell me about this Caroline. Leo, well, Leo could have had something to do with what happened to the truth. Yeah, there's some truth coming out that people are like, yo, that's not right, man. I feel like some of these people, there's also some people that lied for this person as well. There could have been three people involved in this shady shit that happened with this chick, Caroline. Tell me what they did. Tell me, tell me about what they did, please. Oh, look it tower moment yeah something in the past it could have been a leo and a scorpio possibly but there's i definitely see a leo that's having a tower moment because there's some truth coming out about this person and what happened in the past corporate this person could have been connected to a corporate business or this this person who did this could be connected to a corporate business the corporation could be saying that's not right worst hair day tell me more about this situation please oh my gosh next door so somebody could be next door who had something to do with this you big dummy oh okay kick rocks i'm too strong for you so somebody had something to do with something that happened to this chick caroline i mean they literally could be next door okay somebody's got supernatural willpower and strength though this person is like i feel like it's like people are realizing that this person had something to do with this claire gustin's taste things that aren't there so you you could when a loved one is trying to communicate he's so wrong for that Yep, whatever happened to this chick, unfortunately, this person next door could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio. They had something to do with what happened to her. Yeah, and I'll say somebody's mentally conflicted because of this, man. Tell me. Yeah, Harmony, they could have had a relationship with this person. Been beaten and my hair is caught. Don't tell me that this person beat her. Almost there. So it's almost there. What's almost there? The truth coming out. It is being exposed. Did this person have a relationship with this female? Yeah, I command the truth spirit. Is this this Leo next door that had a relationship with this Caroline? Tell me more about this. 
You're lucky you didn't lose all your hair. This person's hair could be thinning. Neighbors living for free. The camera, where's the camera? So I don't know, something's on camera. Somebody could be on camera right this second and not even know it. Yes. Okay, tell me more about this. Thinks men are servants. So I don't know, this this could be a female or a male. I mean, this could just be the type of dude, because I feel like it's a dude that, that offed a female in the past. And they're, it's like they're having some kind of like crisis or something because they know that this is coming out. Or this could have already come out. Liquid. Okay, so they drank something. Almost there, Jacob in liquid. There's that Jacob again. Corporate, almost there. So I don't know. Hold on a second. So the, with the corporate thing, this, this person could work for a corporation. And it's almost there, like it's we're almost there. Maybe it's just a spirit guide saying it's almost there. This person's going to be removed with the liquid. I do feel like this chick could have been drinking with this person. They could have went out drinking or something. Yeah, I think he put something in her drink or something like that. This is one of those gentlemen that was raised right that put something in the female's drink. I don't know. Dress. Liquid and dress. <sighs> I'm so tired of this. Tell me more. Maintenance man. Oh, you know what came out? So the maintenance man could have had something to do with it. Or it could have been the maintenance man at the time. But, um, oh, hold on a second. Did the maintenance man put the liquid in somebody's drink or something like that? This could be a maintenance man at the time that worked together with this person too. These are rat tails. Yeah, these are a bunch of bunch of rats. Hold on a second. Lives <laughs> a guy that lives in a trailer drives a Miata. Whole different vibe. So these are just people that really like. It's like they're desperately wanting to come off like they have things. Or this could have been for life insurance money too. Hold on. Yeah, this this was a sacrifice. Hold on a second. I, I pulled cards this morning, and the first thing that came out was, uh, no shit, maintenance man was taken and replaced. So there could be some people realizing that the maintenance, oh, this could be, that maintenance man could have been replaced since then, actually. Hold on a second. So there could have been a maintenance man that maybe put something in this person's drink. They could have came into someone's home or something. Hold on a second. Yeah. I don't feel like this maintenance man still is, is the one that's working there. Tell me about this maintenance man. Tell me about the maintenance man, please. Tell me about the maintenance man. They did this for some kind of security. Tell me more, please. Hold on a second. Hold on. She wasn't married to this dude or in a relationship with this dude, was she? She really did. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. Olivia? There could be uh, someone that was married to the maintenance man that was, or and they were connected to this shit. Yeah, Sagittarius. Track it on your iPhone, so someone's being tracked. Hold on a second. Divine Feminine, you destroyed this punk again, so Divine Feminine, ex ex Destroyed the dude next door. The neighbors living for free. The maintenance man. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Thinks you're lying about how you make your money. Um, ugh. Hurry. What's up with hurry? Expansion and hurry. So they could be trying to expand. Like this could be somebody that's connected to one of these freaking groups and shit that thinks that they're going to expand this shit. Like <laughs> sacrificing people. Trafficking. No. Nothing's expanding here. Not when you're doing this type of shit. So, 
somebody thinks, what do they think that you're doing for your money? Not that we really give a shit, but let's see, regain. Somebody's trying to like regain what? Power or control. Tell me about what they think someone's doing for money. Oh, an emperor, a divine masculine? Or your father. Your father could think that you're lying about how you make your money. Cancer. This could be a police officer, too. Like, what the fuck is this, man? Who cares? Who cares? Let's get that out of here. I don't really give a shit. We don't care whether people think that we're making our money legally or not, right? Usually when people can't believe it, yeah, disgusting. Um, we usually, why is disgusting? I guess this is just disgusting. These people are disgusting. But um, if you can't believe that somebody's making their money legally, that's usually because you can't make money legally. All right, because most people don't think that way unless you're a straight criminal. Um, what's up with disgusting, man? Tell me about disgusting. I and mean, I feel like I already, there's a disgusting punk that, that got destroyed again. I don't feel like this is a different punk. I feel like it's the same punk that keeps getting destroyed over and over and over and over and over again. That's what I think. I do. That's what I think. Look, there's the divine child. Okay. It's disgusting what they're doing to this divine being. Look, father, I think it's also disgusting that somebody's father, somebody's father doesn't believe that, okay. This would be the type of thing where if you had a narcissistic father that felt like they were like the end all be all, and if you're not near me, you ain't going to thrive, or it sounds like a very narcissistic father, somebody's father could like not want to believe that their child voice, that you could make money through your voice, okay? <laughs> Somebody, you either, you could either sing or you could even do what I do, or there's something where you're with your voice, you're making money just by, but by speaking, you probably speak truth and it's making you money in crazy ways. And your father's like, no, I don't believe it. Well, we don't really give a shit. Yeah. Do you really even care? Let me find out if you care. Cause I feel like that's what this is for some of you is that your fa your own father doesn't believe that you could have ever been successful without being connected to him. Commander True Spirit. Is that what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I commanded True Spirit. Do we care? No, but I feel like they just wanted to let uh, you guys know for who's going through this. Like, you know, your father's never going to accept the fact that you didn't really need him, okay, to make money. So that's neither here nor there, okay, because I feel like you're proving him wrong. Otherwise, this wouldn't be um, showing up. This sounds like a father. Uh, that's trying to project the fact that they didn't protect their child the way that they should by saying that, you know, by still trying to knock this child. It sounds like somebody's father is uh, disgusting, like they said, okay? Um, let me give a... Where's my other letters? Yeah, let's find out some more about this because I feel like... Maybe you never had a voice when it came to this father. Like you could have just been like someone that was like kind of submissive to your father. And that could have made you submissive with men in your life and with dudes that you were in relationships with. It could be like your husband or whatever. But I just feel like somebody um, or even if you're um, a dude and you had a toxic relationship with your father, you could just be real submissive because you felt like you had to be like that with your dad. Somebody cut off communication and cut off everything with their father. And the way the father is handling it is like everything that you're doing now in your life has to be illegal or shady because you're not connected to him. What, what a Napoleon complex type of father this is. Here comes one of God's angels. All right, so that's what they're doing. They're going up against an, an earth angel. All right, tell me more. Yeah, game over. I love when that card comes out because some, something's over. And, and I guess there's somebody or some multiple people that don't want to believe that it's over. Somebody's going to be removed, though. Tell me more. Yeah, grateful. Hazel eyes. You could have hazel eyes and you're grateful that this game is over. I feel like the universe is also grateful for you because you're probably the reason why this game is over like this. Yep. Tell me more. Tell me. Let me see. Your psychic gifts are, are scaring people. Uh, the owner knows that the neighbors aren't paying. This came out again. Somebody's got an STD and isn't telling anybody. That seems to be trending now, damn it. Tell me about the person who has the STD. Give me a, a first initial, please, about this person that has an STD and doesn't isn't telling anybody. Because when I made that card, that was for, like, one that is a big deal. You feel me? Tell me about this person who's got this STD and isn't telling anybody, please. It's a male. Tell me. I don't know how long you've had it. Yeah, I don't know how long this person's had it, but I mean, it's, 
I, I don't feel like, I feel like it's only getting worse. Tell me a first initial for this person, please, who has this um, STD. And is it telling anyone, please? Is this just stuck? I feel like this is stuck. I'm just going to reopen it. Hold on. I'm going to clear the storage out on it. Because that's really odd. It doesn't really happen a lot, but let's see. Okay. Tell me about this person, this first initial of this person, please. E. Eric, Evan, Ethan. Could be a female, Evelyn. I mean, you know how it is, Ellen. Erica, Eric, E, K. This definitely could be Eric. This could be somebody's initials. This could be, I hear crows big time outside. Command of truth here. Is this, this could be first, command of truth. Is this two people's initials here? Yeah, so, I command the truth. Are these females? No. So this is two people whose name begins with the letter E and K. These two have it. Can I get another initial? Because I'm sure there's probably more. T. E, K, and T. These people have sexually transmitted diseases, spiritually transmitted diseases, and they keep it in on the his ush. Logical. Maybe this something's like just logical to you, or you use your voice, you think logically. So because the psychic gifts are scaring people with your logic and your voice, I feel like you're a prophet, you prophesize, you can predict outcomes just by using logic, intuition, and, and facts. And then, so, so your father has an issue with this, you know, they probably, he probably never figured that you could actually make money off of your spiritual gifts. I don't know what you used to do for work, but I just feel like you're doing better now. Or you're happier now or whatever's happening. And your father's having a hard time admitting it. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Somebody could have even said that you had an STD to try to smear your name. And it's like, nope. But I also feel like that's them confirming that like your father thought that you were never going to, you were always going to be stuck to him or that he was the end all be all, or he was like this God energy where it's like, if you're not connected to me, go ahead and do it and see how, see how you, you, you thrive in life. If I'm not connected to you and your spirit guides are going, nope, she don't need you. He don't need you. Tell me more about this, please. When you learn the lesson, you receive the blessing, right? So that was your lesson. For somebody, that was your lesson was that your own father was holding you back and keeping you back. Spirit guides are so proud of you for that because I'm, I'm telling you, it's not easy, right? Virgo, you could be a Virgo or you're just very better. You're better by yourself with the Virgo. I mean, that's the hermit card. So, yeah, I just feel like when you got a beard, you can basically do whatever you want. So I don't know. Somebody could have a beard in this situation. Your father, whoever this father figure is that's getting removed from a situation. What's up with library? Library. You could read a lot or just you're just very learned. Tell me more about this situation, please. Act like you don't got it. Tell me about this act like you don't got it. Yeah, money, because there's people around you. Tell me about this act like you don't got it, please. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles, because I feel like you're really loyal. Somebody else could have acted like they didn't have it if you needed it. Like, I don't know, there could be a father figure who, act, who said acted like they didn't have it to help you. You were loyal to this father in the past, and I feel like they said they didn't have it. This could be the kind of father where it's like, no, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. But then you'll see him like buying something unnecessary or something like that. That's what it feels like. I feel like act like you don't got it too. It's like act like you're going through a hard time. Yeah, act like you're struggling or something like that. Because honestly, I, I see that you put an end to any kind of delays in your life. So you no longer have any delays like that's over. But uh, people around you may be able to sense this as well. Tell me more, please. Act like you don't got it. Yeah, the universe. Aquarius energy too. <sighs> Hold on. I feel like you were loyal. You had to put an end to being loyal to an Aquarius. This could be a situation where your father may need something now from you or they're going to need something now from you and you have to act like you can't help. 
Yeah, there's an Aquarius here um, at law on the run. I don't know that's for somebody, but there's an Aquarius here who turned, who possibly turned. I also see you healed your finances, so you know how to save now. So you'll never have delays or be struggling again. You put an end to struggling. But I also see that there's this could be this father figure. Uh, that turned is, is like jealous that you're happy. They could have even turned some family members against you or something. This just sounds like a father that's like a big kid. It sounds like your father is no different than these narcissistic men that you're dealing with for who I'm speaking to. He's, we talked about this the other day. It's like you're exactly the same. Maybe that's why your father didn't protect you because when they're in the same energy, they don't feel like they're doing anything wrong. So it's like if your father's mean to you or your father's competitive or your father's jealous, you know, he may not be trying to attack you literally like some of these other dudes will, but it almost seems like your father would be more inclined to take the side of the person attacking you than you. That's what it feels like. I honestly see why you had to put an end to being loyal to this father and this is your spirit guides being really proud of you so this this is probably going to be a situation where i'm telling you i feel like now something's flipping and someone's father is struggling and they're jealous now they're mad it's like what why would you be mad that your child is doing better you know you know what's funny is my dad always used to say um people want to see you do well but not better than them and the funny thing is he's one of them you know it's, it's ironic, but he's one of them. Yeah, so tell me more about this. Yeah, look, you changed completely. Something changed completely. Like, I feel like you're a whole different person. And you had to block out this father because you knew that this was a karmic father probably from your past. And this is also why you kept getting into karmic relationships with uh, men who are the same way, jealous, competitive, um, probably closet gay and shit like that because there's no other reason for a dude to be jealous of a woman Women are jealous of women. So when a dude is jealous of a woman, that's their feminine side that they can't get a, a grip on. And usually that means it's because they're gay. Desperately wants to be you while despising you at the same time. Honestly, I do. I feel like this is someone's father I'm talking about. But this could also be someone else, man. Somebody's also struggling because there's just shit ending in their life here. There could be, This could just be people around you, man. There, there's people around you that like they can't stand you but they want to be you at the same time this could be a cusper someone's a cusper tell me more about this please they follow you this could be literal but this could also be like they follow you on your platform somebody can't stand you but they watch you they listen to you tell me more empath born to narcissistic family so this is family members of yours that are watching you there's an Aquarius for somebody. Um, they're having a hard time that somebody ch completely changed who they were and changed their life. This person, I don't know if you're talking about, you know, this could be like you talking about your journey, your ascension and stuff, and somebody's actually watching you. This is definitely, I'm talking to an empath who's a healer. That's who I'm talking to right now. Tell me more. It's half price. You could have had a cheap father. Thanksgiving. What happened at Thanksgiving? You're thankful, though? There could, something could have happened this past Thanksgiving with your family. Look how devastated he is. You're giving us a bad look. So you're making these narcissistic family members look bad. Because I feel like all of these, any, any of the narcissistic family members, if you're an empath, they, they don't want to see you do well. Um, it hides all of their bullshit. You know, you could have parents or a parent that also struggled with money and made bad financial decisions, but yet they project it all onto you. So you start believing that it's just you and the whole time, like you could have a mother that shops, a mother that does drugs, a father that does drugs, like, but they pointed the fingers at you to project all the shit onto you. That's what I feel like is happening. And now whoever these narcissistic families are, it's like, wait, stop, stop to being better without us because now you're making it look bad. Now you're actually proving that we had something to do, even if it's just a little bit though, because these are narcissistic family members that will ever want to take any accountability for saying that maybe like they didn't help you the way that they should or maybe they helped you too much and they enabled you that they, they never ever take any responsibility at all so now you could have like moved away put an end to being loyal to somebody or multiple people now you're doing better in life and you completely changed without them in your life, okay? So I don't feel, you know, it's like we don't point fingers and say na 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 na. It's just it'll speak for itself because you'll just start doing better in life when you cut off these family members. And now, people are going to look and go, well, maybe you did have some kind of like unhealthy 
influence on this person. Yeah, why? Why is this person doing better? And why are you so mad? Why Why are you so mad that this person's doing better? I really hope this isn't your father, man. I hope this isn't somebody's father. Yeah, student. So what this is also is arrogant, the pursuit of destructive knowledge. It's like, this is the kind of thing where it's like, first off, I feel like you learned that you're a master alchemist, okay? And with the artist, I honestly think you're you're so clever and you're so creative that you you will always you'll always be okay. But you didn't know this because you had to get away from these narcissistic family members, okay? Now, I also see... Oh, damn. These are family members, too, that didn't want to believe that you were doing better since you moved away from them. So they were going out of their way to try to find dirt on you. Probably even, like, try to force a situation or for... Yeah, strong. You're realizing... <laughs> First off, somebody had a big stronghold. Why? Why strong? Like, why? Why are you mad that this person is strong? Why am I stronger away from these narcissistic family members? It's speaking for itself, and these family members are, are pissed. Not all of them. I mean, the empathic ones will understand. The family, he just said, no shit. So, so tell me more about this, please. Yeah, Divine Feminine, look at you. Libra Taurus, I'm going to leave it at that. You had to cut out these family members because you realized that you were actually getting some of their karma and this was a karmic cycle. You're stronger without them. There's a father specifically that doesn't like that his daughter is stronger away from her father because I honestly think that this father um, could never give you props unless he was connected to it. That's what I feel like. This is the kind of dad where if somebody gives you a compliment, then he's going to step in and go, yeah, well, you know, sure she gets it from her. Something like that. And now you're doing everything by yourself away from him. And he's struggling. I feel like he's having a lot of endings. Or he could even have gotten sick or his life just changed. So it, you're proving that, like, you know, regardless of what I was doing or decisions I was making, your life was better when I was in it, Divine Feminine. You're realizing what kind of a person this father is, I think, for somebody. And I feel like other family members are realizing as well. And I also think that this person word means you're realizing what kind of person you really are. Yeah, deny. They can't deny what kind of person they are. And they can't deny what kind of person you are. Because the energy doesn't lie. You have to separate in order for that to happen. We're not going nowhere. I love you. Out.